Yeah, I think, uh, like, like uh, Bongi mentioned now, I think in the first half, um, sometimes you're going to concede penalties because you contest and you get, your you get it technically wrong, but it's the avoidable penalties. Um, uh, the tackle of the ball, uh, the avoidable penalties that I feel the non roll away, which is all in your own control. I feel um, uh, we, we have to limit that uh, uh, in terms of... If, if I think the World Cup will be so close and so tight. If you think even today, I don't know what the world rankings look like, but team, any team can beat any team on any given day. Um, so I think uh, discipline will be a key issue uh, going to the World Cup. Yes. Uh, I think the big uh, discussion, actually Bongi led it at half time, is that uh, we, are, we are getting the opportunities, uh, but we're just not converting them. So, uh, like we had the two, um, two, op two opportunities where we went over the try line, but we got held up, which is great defense from Argentina. I thought they, they were very smart and clever with that. So, uh, just listen, we, uh, we are actually getting there. Uh, but we're just not converting our opportunities uh, and to keep the energy up because sometimes that can deflate you. But I must say, that's one thing he mentioned maybe early on in the press conference. He said that they, that they made a, a pact to each other that they will back each other during the week. And I thought that's exactly what they did. That missed opportunities didn't drain the energy. They kept the energy up. And, and that's why I think in the first 10 minutes of the second half, uh, uh, they, they, we, we actually converted... Uh, we got points even with the yellow card. I just want to, uh, uh, yes, uh, um, Augustine Crevy, yes. listen, that's our first, first guy for, for Argentina to get out of the test match. Hats off to him. He's been a, he's been a phenomenal servant to the game and uh, unbelievable competitor uh, just from our, as I know we said it, we did it uh, on the field, but just from our side, uh, uh, unbelievable experience to him and his family for all the sacrifices that they made. Mm. Uh, yeah, um, in his long career? Yeah, I think uh, yeah, there was obviously a lot of changes. And uh, I think the one thing that coaches are trying to do is, is to give everyone a chance before the World Cup squad is announced. And I think today a lot of guys put their hands up, uh, showing that they're ready for the World Cup, uh, making it tough for the coaches, obviously. But I mean, as a squad, uh, when you arrived here, we spoke about backing each other on the field. We knew it was going to be tough, uh, very hostile crowd today. Uh, but I mean, uh, you saw um, uh, first half, we, um, uh, we tried a lot of things. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, decisions didn't go our way, but we knew second half it was going to come our way. Uh, we just had to keep on grinding. And obviously, playing in Argentina, Argentina in front of the home crowd, it was tough today. But I mean, the guys really picked up their hands and showed that uh, yeah, they really want to be in the World Cup squad. Yeah, I think obviously the first half, uh, we had a lot of discipline issues. Uh, when it came into changing, we spoke about it. Uh, we said that uh, uh, we're going to try and be more disciplined and try to turn the game onto our side. And I think yeah, it came on second half. Uh, you could see that we got more penalties and obviously Mani kicking the, uh, uh, converting the penalties put us in a good position to win the game.